Can you see my breath? Yeah, this part of my little shop is not insulated yet. But just down here sharpening my chain for the day. Got this little guy at I think Forrester's Supply. A great been great for me. You know, it's not a commercial. You can't do you know tons and tons of chains over and over, but it's been great for me. Um just gotta get some heat, get this chain sharpened if you know and you if you're operating your chain correctly and we'll go through that once we get out to the field i'll go through uh you're trying to keep your sh chain sharp i don't sharpen them very often because i've just kind of learned throughout the years what not to do to keep them sharp but um puts a lot less stress on the saw and everything like that so get this done and get loaded up and get out to the woods Don't want to get down into here, into the chain part. I want to stay up on that tooth. I think I'm doing okay. All right, out in the woods, working along. Um, I did not change blades yet because uh, I just wanted to use this one a little bit longer before I had to sharpen it. But um, good indication of when your blade is dull uh one indication is obviously the saw's working hard and you're not going through the wood uh like you were in the beginning um that's one indication if you've noticed you've put your chainsaw or chain in dirt or on these old rotten logs there's lots of dirt and stuff in the logs themselves but if you hit dirt that's going to pretty much dull it instantly so if you're working along the ground try to do your best to to stay off the ground as best you can but uh, another indication is when the saw is throwing out chips you'll see the, the chips kind of turn into sawdust so these got these little chips here and then you got a whole bunch of little sawdust around here and the sawdust once it starts throwing sawdust, uh, she's she's pretty dull anyway. So I want to finish. This birch is kind of hard, this white birch. Um, but not as hard as an oak. It also depends on what you're cutting. You're cutting aspen, uh, maple, soft maple. You know, you're going to go through that stuff real easy. But if you're going through a little harder stuff, you know, it's going to wear on the chain a little bit more. So hopefully that helps you out. I usually have a couple chains. The more you put your chain in the dirt, you're going to wear it out. And chains these days are pretty expensive. You, get, you can get a lot of life out of them. I usually don't even have to change a blade a day, especially if I'm working off the ground. If I'm just cutting trees, cutting them down and whatnot, a hinge cut and all that stuff, you don't really have to change the blade hardly at all. But um, So hope that helps. I'll talk to you later. Get going here. I'll show you some results when I, if I can get done here today. I want to throw some ribbon up so we can come back through here in July with one of those uh, brush walk behind mowers. I'm making these logs big enough to get one of those mowers through so you can see that and get the mower through there, then come back through with Roundup.
and get that vegetation down so those deer know where to go.